Lord, give me shelter. A storm brewing miles away. Give me shelter. Oh, we're gonna send out. Look at this. Sapporo and Dana Ray. I got In N Out Burger. Sent me a gift card for our double doubles on New Year's Eve. Lord, I'm gonna. They're gonna save the day. I love In N Out Burger. And it's pouring rain. Just like the stones said it, man. <laughs> This is incredible. And they're continuing to follow the storm hovering over the Southland. This storm will be gone by tomorrow, but another one is right behind it. Meteorologist Alyssa Carlson with our next weather. Alyssa. Well, Jasmine, it certainly is soaking outside as we do have heavy rain around the area. And as we take a look at it, we're going to continue to watch as these slick roads will be around for the next several hours. The heaviest of the rain right now over the downtown area, LAX. Anything that you see in yellow is a moderate band of rain. And then we're also watching here as rain is pretty much blanketing the viewing area. So we'll be watching for rainfall amounts uh, upwards of a tenth of an inch to uh, eight tenths of an inch being reported here an hour. And that has uh, just come in here from the National Weather Service. So that's almost an inch of rain in some areas per hour that you see probably in the yellow as well as the orange. So the orange most likely seeing those heavier downpours. There's pockets of these continuing around the area. This is all heading here toward uh, Orange County and that will continue to pass on through as well as out into the Inland Empire. On the back side of that, we still have light rain through the grapevine at this hour. Snow levels are high. I'm not worried about that. We could see a little bit of rain and snow mix in the morning if you were traveling to the grapevine, but I don't expect any closures. So far, in terms of totals, we only have about three uh, tenths of an inch reported, but these totals will be updated here shortly, and I'm assuming we'll be adding quite a bit to that. As we take a look at it, enough rain that we could see some flooding. We do have the aerial flood watch up, and that's going to run through 2 a.m. Also watching for a high wind warning, as well as a wind advisory. So winds currently sustained out in Ventura County, upwards of almost 20 miles per hour, and they have went down a little bit now in Ontario. It's 58 New degrees Year's downtown. Eve. We still have more wet weather in the forecast about the next uh, two or three hours. With gusty and winds got, possible again on Sunday, the Rose Parade should be dry. And by tomorrow morning, upwards a gift of car from in and out. To an inch and a quarter of rain as we head Rock and roll. Next, uh, I say seven Happy hours New Year's, everybody. degrees tomorrow. And we will be dry. Rock and roll. The dryness. All right.